Now, over the next few months, we're going to be following a quite incredible challenge involving someone that we work with here at Northwest Tonight. Reporter and producer Mohammed Salim Patel is registered blind and has teamed up with his friend Sean, who uses a wheelchair, in an attempt to become the world's first disabled deep sea diving duo. It's incredible. The pair are working with an instructor in Morecambe to attempt a dive off in the, uh, in the northwest coast later this summer. <laughs> Every time I've mentioned it to somebody, they've said, what are you going to get out of it because you can't see? But for me, it's always a question of, well, why not? Yeah, let's go and show the world what we can do and break down the barriers with, with diving. Throughout my life, I've, I've come across negativity and it motivates me. I've got a degenerative eye condition which is called retinitis pigmentosa. So I was diagnosed at the age of 10. And at that time, the doctors said to me, you're going to go blind one day. And then suddenly, when I was you know, 15, 16 years old, my sight started to go and it went very quickly. And I struggled to come to terms with that. What do I do now? Do I accept this or do I let it consume me? Through my religion, through my parents' support, inspired me to say, no, I'm going to overcome that and I'm going to push on and do whatever I can. At the age of 20, 30, 32, nearly 33 years ago, I was involved in a road traffic accident. I was backseat passenger of a, of a car. Uh, we went around the corner too fast and the car flipped over. I broke my back, my ribs, my shoulder, punched and broke my lungs and uh, gave me two days to live. I couldn't see where my life was going to take me, you know, I, I didn't, I wasn't, I was thinking who was going to have me, who was going to marry me, who was going to, how I was going to have children. Where are we going to go? Egypt. Egypt. Mm -hmm. I worked in uh, spinal injuries, rehabilitation sort of home, so I met Sean there. I think because of Sean's personality, that overcomes his disability. Everything I do, or the challenge I've done, Dawn's always been behind me. Even my kids. My youngest uh, went from Lands End to Donegroats with me, same with Shana, she does all the obstacle courses, same with my son. So, yeah, we're a, a family of adventurers. I think it's just normal now. <laughs> yeah. I think he comes home and just says he's going to do something crazy and it's not really a surprise. <laughs> Are you proud of him? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't tell that to him. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really nice and quiet. Yeah. And the paths are really wide. When I was told that I can't work in television because I'm blind and it's too much of a sighted environment. I just pushed past that and it was a case of, no, of course, of course I can if I want to. Actually, I think quite creatively and obviously I've got my wife now who's my support worker. Uh, Rishma, can you move Barrow on Tuesday uh, to underneath IPP sentencing? Sometimes people start assuming you got married to a blind person, you got a big responsibility on your shoulder, he will always need you. But I want to tell all of them people that it's very wrong because I am depend on him. He's not depend on me at all because he does everything himself. She helps me out. She describes, you know, pictures to me or videos to me and we work well together. When he mentioned diving first time to me, I was like, how would you do that? And when he showed me, when he explained me what his vision is in his mind, I was like, wow. When I first started looking into the diving, um, I contacted a number of different companies. As soon as you mentioned disability, as soon as you mentioned paralysis, um, there was a lot of barriers put up. Silly excuses not to be able to do it, and I think it's because of lack of awareness. But we're both the type of people that will not accept no as an answer. I was looking around, I was contacting companies all over the, the UK, more Mary divers. I contacted them, we had a meeting. We came across Curly and nobody's going to say no to Curly. So this is everything about how we're going to just like breeze underwater. Right. He's now then taking me on my, my little adventure. We want to spread the word that diving is for everybody, for every ability. Because we are all equal underwater. If we can show to people there's nothing to actually stop you, apart from, you know, what's in your head. As I said, we work with Salim and I know Sean a little bit as well. And
the pair of them. I mean, they're incredible, and what they want to do, that is they'll, do they'll, they'll do it. Amazing. Of course, they'll do it. It is mind over matter. Yeah. Oh, incredible. Absolutely. Come Can on,